Hi everybody, this is Michael with Distinct Group, Keller Williams Realty, talking to you today about step three of the home buying process, the contract. By now you've been pre-approved, you've met with agents, you've interviewed agents, you've picked an agent, and uh, you've gone out, you've seen homes, you've found the dream home, this is it, this is the one you want to buy. So now we're at the contract process. So the first thing you want to do, or your agent's going to do, is they're going to look at the area, they're going to look at comps and uh, you guys are going to discuss the home's value and what a good potential offer is going to be what should you offer on the home are there other offers on the table do you need to offer above list price uh, do you have the ability to ask for the seller to pay any closing costs uh, how much earnest money should you put down what kind of down payment uh, are you looking at um, what kind of close date you want to close you know your agent should be able to time out uh, when you want to close to coincide with any lease expirations that you're currently in to, to make this process as seamless as possible. So once you guys have discussed all those details, your agent's going to put together the contract to buy and sell real estate and they'll go through it with you. So assuming the contract's been submitted and the contract's been accepted, your first step is going to be to de deliver earnest money. Earnest money is going to be held in trust on both behalf of the sellers and yourself uh, to, to, to go towards your purchase price uh, when it comes time to close on your home. After you've delivered the earnest money, the next steps are is the listing agent or the seller's agent is going to be sending over property disclosures. Those property disclosures will include a seller's property disclosure, maybe a lead-based paint disclosure depending on the age of the home, square footage disclosure, uh, whatever the sellers or the listing agent know about the home uh, should be disclosed to you uh, in some form. After you've gotten the disclosures, you've reviewed the disclosures, you've signed the disclosures, your next steps are to schedule the home inspection. Whether you use a home inspector that you know or you use a home inspector recommended by your agent, uh, you will be getting a home inspection. I always recommend getting a home inspection. You want to make sure you do your due diligence on the home that you're going to buy. Like I've said before, this is the largest financial purchase, or one of the largest financial purchases of your life, so uh, I would definitely recommend a home inspection. Once you do your home inspection, you're going to receive an inspection report. That inspection report is going to outline everything that's wrong with the home, everything that needs to be repaired with the home. Uh, you're going to go over that list with your agent and you guys are going to put together what's called an inspection objection. That inspection objection will be sent over to the seller and this is basically your repair request list. This is what you want the seller to fix before you buy the home. Keep in mind, homes in Colorado are sold as is. There's no obligation of the seller to make any repairs for you. Here's the flip side, if seller makes no repairs, then you're not obligated to buy. Okay. If you back out because you don't come to terms on what's going to be fixed, you get a refund of your earnest money deposit. Uh, it's a negotiation. Maybe seller says, I'll fix this and not that. So you guys, you know, your agents will negotiate uh, until you're at an acceptable agreement where you're fine moving forward. Once you've re reached that agreement, you have what's called inspection resolution. You'll sign that resolution and you'll move forward to the next step, which is the appraisal process the mortgage company or your lender will order the appraisal that appraiser will go out to the property and value the home the if for some reason the home fails to appraise you can request a price reduction if seller refuses to drop the price you can back out of the deal and get a refund of your earnest money uh, assuming the property does appraise you move forward to property insurance uh, you have the right to get insurance quotes on the home to see what it's going to cost to insure if you feel that uh, insurance is too expensive, you can back out of the contract and get a refund of your earnest money. Uh, after that is final underwriting of your loan, uh, and then you'll go to closing. Once you go to closing, you own the home, and congratulations, you're a homeowner. That's a quick synopsis of the contract process. There are a few other things that go into the contract, and uh, I recommend you sit down with your agent and make sure you're familiar with the contract. Like I said earlier, it is a 17-page document, so definitely get with your agent, ask them any questions that you may have about the contract, as well as about the contract process. As always, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Our number is 303-356-8282, 303-356-8282. Have a great day.